Lazy Bird Win, and today we are talking about cleanup, but more specifically, creases and folds. But even more specifically, <laughs> how to copy paste information from the pencil editor to many frames. Okay, because sometimes you did this and you kind of like it, but then <laughs> your maybe cleanup leader, your, your supervisor, or the director, I don't know, is like, yeah, that looks cool, but actually, I think we are starting to feel that our show needs to have sharp edges and not round edges. And then you're like, oh no, I need to redo everything. No, you don't. Okay, hear me out. What you can do is take your pencil editor and then you can go and edit the line the best you think it is. So if you need something sharp, for example, you can take this, and then if you use your arrow keys, like up and down, you can change the width. But if you use shift up and down, you can even like lower it up even more. And you can also just go into the size here literally and write zero or one if you want. Like that's something you can do. And then when you do this, you will have something sharp, but it might be a bit too sharp. So you can select the edges and then press on shift again and click on the handles. And then this will allow you to control exactly how you want this to be. And then maybe you go here too and you remove some of these points you can put that to zero if you want and then make this a bit wider and if you want the connection here to be also meter you can click there and it's going to be sharp you know i won't get too much into the details because usually you see that from far away and that's close enough but then you have to do all that work for the other lines that is a lot of work so what you can actually do is use your pencil editor click on your line copy and you can go on the next frame and you can paste it and it should have the same, you know, thick and thin. You can, you know, paste that across all your different um, drawings. That's kind of neat, right? <laughs> the important thing to note though, is that the way you draw your lines matters. So I know that when I clean up, usually if I clean up folds like that, I will always do it the same direction, usually. Because when I clean up folds like that, I tend to do them more straight ahead. Ish. but sometimes maybe you felt like doing it a different direction so i'm gonna do so i'm gonna remove two of these creases and i'm gonna redo them and i'm gonna do one that is going to be in this direction and one that is going to be done in this direction okay i'm gonna draw them now one like this and one like this okay and what i'm gonna do is on this stroke i'm gonna have one end be very big and one end be very small. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna take it, copy, and then I'm gonna paste it here. So I'm gonna get the same. But then if I paste it on the other, the bigger part is gonna be here and the smaller part is gonna be there. So sometimes these things happen. Don't worry, it's probably because you have a lot of um, dots on top of one another. So you can fix it by just removing the extra dots that you might have. And then just press Alt and click here. And it's going to retract your little handles because you know if you have handles coming out then the ending is not sharp enough you really need to have something that is sharp for it to work and you can always adjust it a little bit but usually it does the trick well it's just that i do know that sometimes it does some weird thing like we've seen here but to come back to the thing at hand that we had this one goes in this direction this one goes in the opposite this is because when you draw with a pencil line there is a start and an end to your line so just make sure that it's in the right order and if it's not don't worry so if you want this line to be like the other one all you have to do is click on it and in here you have a button that says reverse pencil thickness it's located here inside the tool properties you can just click on it and it will reverse the thickness of your lines it's really just a little thing you can also set it to a shortcut if you want so yeah it's uh, pretty simple to just do that and then again remember to fix these little weird edges all you have to do sometimes is to remove clutter in the corners and then you're all good Alright, so I hope this is helpful and have a wonderful day. Goodbye!